Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and darrenoneill.eu. In this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Wildfly onto Windows. We'll be using Windows Server 2016 in this video, but the process should be much the same for other versions of Windows including Windows 10. Okay, so we're just going to get started here and I'm just going to open up Chrome. I'm just going to maximize this and I am going to search for Java. JDK and I'm just going to click on the Java Development Kit 8 here and this will take me to the Oracle site so I'm just going to accept the license agreement and I'm going to download the Windows X64 so this should take a minute to download here now first and I'll just pause the video while this is downloading okay great this is downloaded for me now so I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to click to open and I'm just going to step through the installer process now, which will only take a minute for us here, hopefully. Okay, so I'm just going to click next, I'm going to click next, and it should just calculate one or two bits and pieces for us here. Okay, so this looks good. I'm just going to click next here, and we can see it's beginning the inst installation process. So I'll just pause the video here while it installs. Okay, great, so we can see that's now finished for us and it's ran successfully, which is excellent. Okay, now I'm just gonna go up here and I'm just gonna search for Wildfly Download. And I'll hit return. Okay, and we can see we want to go into wildfly.org forward slash downloads. I'll leave a link below to a full text tutorial where you can get all these links and just copy and paste them. So this should open for us now here. Perfect, and I'm going to download version 12, and I'm going to go for this Java EE7 full and web distribution, and I'm going to download the zip. So this should take a minute for, to download for us here. Okay, Wildfly is downloaded for us here. So I'm just going to click the show in folder, and we can see where my downloads here. So I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to go to my C drive, and I'm just going to paste it here onto my C drive, and then I am going to unzip it by doing extract all and I'm just going to extract it all to the root of my C drive and I'll click extract and this will just take a minute to do the extraction here so I'll pause the video while it's doing its thing. Okay and we're back that took forever to unzip on my machine for some reason hopefully yours was a bit faster. So we have uh, the wildfly folder here so I'm just going to go in here I'm going to go into bin and I'm going to look for a standalone and I'm actually going to run the uh, PowerShell standalone. So just find the standalone uh, that's PowerShell. So you can view this by just going view and let's see the file name extensions and standalone.ps1 and we're going to run this with PowerShell and I'm going to click open and hopefully now this will run uh, Wildfly in standalone mode for us. Uh, if you get this prompt I'm just going to type Y for yes and it should begin to run uh, Wildfly for us now, hopefully. Okay, this looks good. Um, we can see it looks like it started here. So I'm just gonna go back to my browser and I'm gonna go to localhost, uh, colon, and then port 8080. And hopefully we'll see the Wildfly screen. Excellent, we see that now. So that's great, we know it works on our machine. So now I'm going to go back to my Wildfly bin folder that I have open down here and I'm going to look for add user.ps1 and here it is here and again I'm just going to run this with PowerShell and I'll click open and we should get prompted now to add our user. So yeah we're going to leave this as a management user so just click return and I'm just going to say Wildfly. And I'm just going to do the same for the password if it will let me here. And I'm going to say yes, I'm sure. So I'm saying Wildfly, Wildfly. Obviously, if this is a production server, you want to make sure that it's uh, more secure and use a strong password. I'm just going to leave this blank and press return. And I'm going to say yes, we want to add the user to the management realm. Okay, and we're going to say yes here as well. Perfect, so that looks like it's worked for us and we can test that now. Okay, now let's let's test that that's working for us. So I wanna click on Chrome again and I'm gonna change the port now up here 
to 9990 and hopefully we'll be prompted for a login okay so I'm going to put in wild fly and wild fly and see if I can sign in and this looks good we can sign in so we know we can access the uh, management interface okay so I'm just going to minimize Chrome here and I'm just going to go back to my PowerShell window and I'm going to press Control and C together to kill the Wildfly process. So we've done that now. So now let's install Wildfly as a service on our Windows machine. Okay, so we're nearly there with our install. So we're now just going to go back up one level. We're going to go into Docs, uh, Contrib, Scripts, and we're going to copy this service folder. And we're going to go back to Wildfly and we're going to go back into bin and we're going to paste this folder into our bin directory. So we're then going to go into our service folder and we're going to open a command prompt here. And we're then going to run service.bat install. And this looks good. We can see we've now installed our Wildfly service. Okay, so let's now just make sure that everything's running. So I'm going to open my start menu here. I'm going to type in services.msc and I'll click on them here. And let's make sure we have a Wildfly service and we do. So let's make sure we can start this. So I'm going to do start and hopefully this will start up for us here and it has. So I'm also going to come down to properties and I'm going to change it to automatic so that when we reboot the server, Wildfly will start. And I'm going to click Apply and OK. And then we just go back to my browser here. And let's type in, we'll type in localhost 80, port 8080. And hopefully Wildfly will be up for us here. Perfect. And it looks like it's OK for us. Let's check the other interface, which is 9990. And hopefully we should be able to get in here. So we'll type in wild fly and wild fly. And hopefully this will load up and it has. So that's been how to install Wildfly on Windows. If you found it useful, please do like and subscribe. And if you encountered any difficulty, please do comment below. And if I can help, I certainly will.